Now just answer these questions. Full convertibility of the rupee may mean, first statement, it's free float with other international currency. Free float means free, there will be no restriction. The price of a currency will be depending on demand and supply. So it's free float. Its value is free, free market without any restriction, without any government intervention or banking or uh, regulator, banking regulator, RBI or any central bank intervention. So it's free float with any, so full convertibility of the rupee means it's free float with other, it can free float with other, it can be easily converted to other currencies. So first statement is true. So we can eliminate C. You can directly exchange with any international currency at any prescribed place inside and outside the country. That is also true. Second statement is also true. So we can eliminate B. It acts just like any other international currency. So if Indian currency, if Indian rupee becomes fully convertible, will it act like an international currency like US dollar? No. Third statement is wrong. So if you know third statement is wrong, if you know third statement is wrong, you can eliminate B, C and D. Three is common. It becomes easy. Elimination method. Sometimes you have to read from back fourth statement instead of one. You have to do all these experimentation when you write the test series. Now, <coughs> this one. Indian rupee is fully convertible in respect of current account of balance of payment. In respect of current account, it is fully convertible, yes or no? So, one is correct. We can eliminate B. Fully convertible in respect of capital account. Is it correct? No. 2 is, you can eliminate 2. So, you can eliminate C and you can eliminate D. Answer becomes A, 1 only. Hmm? In the case of gold, we have restriction. I told you, no? you cannot import as much gold you want. But the rest of the goods, it is fully allowed. In current account. That is what I am telling. With some restriction. We generally see. Except I told you, gold is not an asset which we see. All the items we import or export is having some productive purposes. What gold is having? No productive purpose. It is not a productive asset. Okay. Except gold. Except and gold is not for, see, for jewelry people there is no restriction. Individuals we have restrictions. For investors, there are not any restriction. Restriction is mainly for individuals. Now, <clears throat> one of the important goals, question number 7, one of the important goals of the economic liberalization policy, one of the important goals of the economic liberalization policy is to achieve full convertibility of the Indian rupee. This is been advocated because convertibility of the rupee will stabilize its exchange value against major currency. Will the convertibility will stabilize its exchange rate? No. So, A is wrong. It will attract more foreign capital inflow into India. That is the correct answer. It will promote export. We cannot say it will help India secure loans from the world financial market and attract that also we cannot guarantee. So, answer is B. Now, see the 2020 question. Let's see. Now, follow the reverse order. Start reading the third question, then two and then one. Okay. If 2020 prelims question. If another global financial crisis, if another global financial crisis happens in the near future, which of the following actions or profiles are most likely to give some immunity to India? Which of the action, if any future global financial crisis happens, which of the following actions will give immunity to India? What about the third statement? Third statement. Maintaining full capital account convertibility will help to give some immunity? No. Third statement is wrong. Third statement is wrong. If third statement is wrong means we can eliminate C, we can eliminate D. No need to read the first statement. First statement is correct. First statement is correct in both the choices. What is the first statement? 
not depending on short term for, for, for uh, short term foreign borrowings so we have to depend on long term foreign borrowing so not depending on so first statement is correct okay now second statement so this second statement will decide your answer knowing the second statement opening up to more foreign banks so if india is having more foreign banks okay try to understand if india is having more foreign banks i told you, have you have i discussed the concept of banking capital in the i told you it is not there in the material you written down bank capital is the foreign currency hold by the banks commercial banks okay now if we have more foreign banks in our country they will always have a reserve forex reserve will, they will be holding they will be they will contribute to banking capital they will be holding more forex reserve okay more foreign banks means the foreign investor will use that particular channel what channel the banking channel to withdraw their money or they will deposit in that money in the bank instead of taking out of the country it will invest it will invest in their foreign banks because it is safe and thereby money will remain in india so in that way having more foreign branches or foreign banks in india can prevent this huge outflow so opening up to more foreign banks will give some immunity to india and the answer will become one and two only <laughs>